friends, I'm going to show you how I make this simple stuffed chicken breast that tastes way better than your favorite restaurant. This could be done for a cute date night at home. As always, the ingredients will be listed down in the description box below. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Now let's get into this recipe. I have my skillet on and to my skillet, this is washed spinach. So I'm just adding in about two cups of washed spinach to the bowl. Okay. As you know, spinach looks like a lot, but by the time you cook it, it shrivels. So I'm just giving this a stir and let the let it shrivel a little bit, and then I'm gonna go ahead and season it. About two minutes in, my spinach is starting to wilt, as you can see here. So I'm gonna go ahead and add in just a little bit of garlic powder to it, and I'm gonna add in a little bit of salt. Add in a bit of salt. That to this, you see? This is two cups of on. This is two cups of spinach. So now you let it cool off, and as you can see, I'm squeezing this. This is liquid that's in the spinach. So before we go to the next process, we just want to make sure that we drain off all of the liquid from this, okay? All right, boom. So I have a chicken breast here that I cleaned and washed. What I'm going to do is create a pocket for it. You don't want to go too deep. You just want it to be enough so that, see how it looks inside? You can stuff your meats and stuff. You don't want to do it too deep because you don't want to cut that chicken off. Okay, just be careful. Okay, this is how it looks on the inside. Nice and stuff. So, I'm going to just throw a little oil on it and throw it. Okay? And you want to do it on the inside too because we're going to season everything on this. So, don't be scurled. All right? All right. Just a little salt, not too much, okay, because we're going to do this on both sides, and then some black pepper, okay. Hit this with a little bit of paprika for coloring, and don't worry, I'm going to get the inside too. And I'm going to hit it with some garlic powder, okay, some chicken seasoning. to use this I put garlic powder in by mistake but this is what I really wanted to use so I'm just gonna put some of this in okay and then what you want to do is give it a nice massage like so you know and then we flip it over and do it the same again so now it's nicely seasoned we're just going to let it hang out for a bit and then we'll get to the next step so I have here about four ounces of cream cheese and what I'm going to do is I'm going to throw in the spinach and give that a mix. It took me some time, but now I realize I should have left it out a little bit longer. So I'm just taking some of this garlic and herb seasoning again. Adding in a little bit of leftover shredded cheese that I had shredded previously. Make sure you shred your cheese, guys. And just a little bit of Parmesan and just give it a mix. Give it a mix to make sure everything... It's properly coated. Oh, she gave him jacket. All right. Nice. I'm going to put this inside of the chicken breast here. So I'm just going to stuff it. You know, just give it a nice stuff. And if it can't fit, you use the next one. Just stuff it until it can't be stuffed no more. Stuff it like you used to stuff your bra. Stuff it like you used to stuff your other no-no areas. And just cook it like this. If it's like this, it's like this. Let's put it in the next one. Remember, we ain't double dip this. We ain't cross-contaminating. Then in the meantime, while you're stuffing your chicken, you just want to close it with some paper clip. I mean, excuse me, some toothpicks. I'm just using two. Um, if your chicken determines more paper, more of these is needed, by all means, go ahead. You know, like so. And in the meantime, heat up your oven to 400 degrees because we're going to finish this off in the oven. And put in your cast iron skillet on the stove or any skillet you're using in hot oil. And once it's warm... We will begin to sear the chicken. All right. So now I'm going to take my chicken and just let it sear. And I'm going to let it sear for about two to three minutes. 
Okay. So it's been about three to four minutes, so I'm just going to flip them over. I'm going to flip it over lightly. And you can see it's starting to have a sear. I'll just, I'll do a close-up on the camera. Can't see it here, but I'll do a close-up. Oh. And you can see the sear. So I'm going to share this for another two to three minutes. So now I'm adding in some garlic cloves. So this is what gives it some extra flavor. And I'm going to add in about one quarter stick of butter. And we're just going to use it to sear off. So two things we're going to do. The first thing is, I know y'all want to see if it's seared on the bottom. And yes it is. Okay? And then the second thing is, so what I'm going to do is take my butter, like so, and put it on here. Now, I'm the worst when it comes to basting. I can't baste for dear life. Okay. Boom. Boom. You want to baste it on the outside of the chicken. And then what we want to do now is we're going to put it in the oven for 20 minutes, okay? Ooh. for 20 minutes set it and forget it we're going to check the internal temperature of this all right so it was definitely cooked and let's get ahead and plate this chicken I just paired it with some salad here and the chicken is a star of the show Ooey gooey. so the real test right now is to see if it's actually cooked on the inside so what I'm gonna do here is cut a piece here I don't care. And as you can see, it's nice. I'm going to take a little bit of this cream cheese sauce. Oh, give it a blow. Mmm, excellent, excellent, excellent. Mm. Nice, white, and juicy. Mm. If y'all want to see me recreate more simple recipes, drop a comment down in the comment section. And don't forget to like, subscribe, share my videos. Thank you for watching.